In medical coverage today for spring is officially here, and some of you might be able to feel it in your face because the change in season, warmer weather, also the kickoff for seasonal allergies. Yeah, we got this question a lot last year at this time. With COVID-19 in the mix, some people might have trouble determining whether their symptoms are being caused by the virus or allergies. 12 News meteorologist Stephen Matragrano spoke with a local doctor about the key differences. Now that we're officially in spring, many of us have to deal with allergies, but how do you know what's allergies and what's not? The warm weather brings out many of us, whether it's for a bike ride, a jog, or even a nice walk. However, this time of year also brings out another element, tree pollen. 12 News spoke with Dr. Russell Setapane from the Allergy and Asthma Center about the differences between allergy symptoms and COVID symptoms. COVID-19 symptoms are more body aches, fever, complete loss of sense of smell. With allergies, the sense of smell can be impaired, reduced, but it won't be completely eliminated like it will be in COVID. Dr. Setapine also says that this year, more than ever, the feeling is that it's not socially acceptable to show allergies such as a runny nose, sneezing, or coughing. Patients really need to get their allergies under control. Now, wearing a mask can actually help with your allergies, especially when outdoors. It helps to reduce the amount of pollen that gets into your nose. Certainly, our eyes are still exposed, so we'll be getting a lot of, a lot of eye itching and that sort of thing. His advice is if you know you have allergies to tree pollen, get on treatment that will keep it under control. Allergy season begins in the first week of April and peaks a few weeks later. And doctors say if you feel like you have allergies and you're not sure, make an appointment. In East Providence, Stephen Matragrano, 12 News.